Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to learn about one of the largest states in the United States of America. And do you know what state we're going to learn about? It's California. Ready? All right, cool, let's get ready. But before we start, make sure to give us a quick thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. Did you do it? Awesome, thanks so much. Ready? Let's get started. California is a state in the United States located in the Pacific region of the United States of America. So to start off, let's learn a bit about some of the basic information and history about California. First, if you're not sure where California is on the map, California is bordered by the Pacific Ocean on the west coast of the United States of America. The state of Oregon is to the north of California, Nevada and Arizona in the east, and Mexico in the south. The name California comes from a 16th century Spanish novel that describes a mythical paradise called California. California is the third largest state in the United States of America. Only Alaska and Texas have more land than California. And California is the United States of America's most populous state with almost 40 million people that live there. California also has three of the 10 biggest U.S. cities. Those three cities are Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Jose. So when was California discovered? Well, over 20,000 years ago, the first people arrived in what we now call the state of California. See, people walked over here from Asia, crossing on a strip of land that's now underwater that was between Russia and the United States. This strip of land is called the Bering Strait. And for thousands of years, hundreds of Native American tribes thrived on this land we now call California. Native Americans were the first people in California whose population is guesstimated or estimated to be between 100 to 300,000 people. And the physical characteristics and how they looked of these California Indians are dark brown eyes, dark skin color, prominent cheekbones, straight black hair, and only a little bit of facial hair. The different tribes of Native Americans that live in that area, we now call California, they lived there for about 13 to 15,000 years and spoke over 300 different dialects in 100 different languages. The Native American people practiced different forms of very sophisticated gardening in the forests, grasslands, and mixed woodlands, as well as the wetlands. This allowed them to have the availability of food and plants that they would use for medicines. Eventually, Europeans landed in the 16th century. They were Spanish explorers leading the way. Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, a Portuguese man who worked for Spain, was the first European who explored California in 1542. During this Spanish colonization, a large number of these Native Americans died. And this was because many different diseases that the Europeans brought with them, like diphtheria and measles. Mexico gained its independence from Spain in 1821 through the Mexican War of Independence. It also gained control of California. But that didn't last too long. See, in 1848, at the end of the Mexican-American War, California became a United States territory. Then, when gold was struck in 1849 at Sutter's Mill in Coloma, more than 100,000 people, nicknamed 49ers, rushed to California to try to find fortunes for gold. The gold rush probably helped to make California nicknamed the Golden State, as did its golden poppies, which is the state flower. And just a year later, California was founded on September 9th in 1850. 
this was the date that California became the 31st state in the United States of America. And people moving to California rapidly grew during the early 20th century with the completion of a major transcontinental highway, which is the Lincoln Highway as well as Route 66. However, during the 20th century, two tremendous disasters happened in California. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake and in 1928, the St. Francis Dam Flood. And this still remains one of the deadliest in US history. So want to know a little bit more what California is actually like? Well, if you follow the 1100 mile coastline of California, you will find sandy beaches, mountains, and cliffs. If you head to the northeast, you'll find forests with redwood trees that are almost 400 feet tall. That's taller than the full length of a football field. East of the redwood trees is Mount Whitney. This is the highest peak in the 48 contiguous United States. Mount Whitney is also part of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. If you like the heat, you can travel to the southeast to the 25,000 square mile Mojave Desert. In the middle of the state, you'll find what is called the Central Valley. This is where you'll find miles of farmland. So what about the animals and wildlife in California? Well, for one thing, you should keep an eye open for black bears, mountain lions, wild pigs, deer, bighorn sheep, as well as elk. You'll also see bald eagles, California condors, and California quails, which happens to be the California state bird. And in the ocean, you'll find leatherback sea turtles, green sea turtles, sea otters, blue whales, as well as California sea lions. And there are about 6,500 different types of plants that live and thrive in California. Some of the most unique are Joshua trees, which grow only in the Mojave Desert. Also, perfumed magnolia trees, thorny coral trees, purple flowered jacarandas, and lots of cacti, which are cactus plants. And did you know that there's a good chance that a piece of fruit that you've eaten was probably grown in California? See, California is the top United States producer of lemons, avocados, apricots, dates, grapes, figs, nectarines, peaches, kiwi, strawberry, raspberries, and so many others. And California also leads the USA in the production of almonds, pistachios, and walnuts. Do you happen to like broccoli? Well, did you know that 90% of the broccoli that's produced in the United States comes from, you guessed it, California. And California also makes timber, cement, natural gas, as well as petroleum. Now, here are some really cool facts about California. California's Death Valley is North America's hottest desert. It averages a daily high in the month of June of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. The world's biggest tree by volume is named General Sherman. And General Sherman is a giant sequoia tree in Sequoia National Park. This tree, General Sherman, is about 102 feet around. Are you not sure exactly how big that is? Well, think of it like this. 102 feet around is bigger than a basketball court. And General Sherman may be as old as 2,700 years old. That's an old and very big tree. Have you ever watched a movie? Of course you have. Did you know that more movies have been filmed in California than any other state? Did you also know that there are sometimes waves in the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, that reach over 50 feet tall? 
and these huge waves attract surfers to the state for fun as well as competitions. In 1955, Disneyland opened in Anaheim, California. And since the time that it opened, almost 1 billion people have visited the park. How about McDonald's? Do you like McDonald's? Well, the first McDonald's restaurant was opened in California in 1940. It was located in San Bernardino by the brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald. Did you know that California has both the highest and the lowest points in the United States? The highest is Mount Whitney and the lowest is Badwater Death Valley. San Bernardino County is the largest county in the entire United States of America. It covers over three million acres. Did you know that California's economy is larger than the economies of many countries in the entire world? If California were a country, it would be the sixth largest economy in the world and the 35th most populated. California is also home to the most famous technology companies in the world so much that they have named an area where these companies are located called the Silicon Valley. And some things that have been invented in California have been fortune cookies, Apple computers, theme parks, which was Disneyland, blue jeans, as well as Barbie dolls. You might have heard of the California Gold Rush. Well, the Gold Rush started in 1848 when James Marshall discovered gold at Sutter's Mill. So, maybe that could be why California is called the Golden State. But here's a couple other ways that it might have got that nickname. Every spring, golden poppies bloom in the wild fields everywhere in the entire state. And since 1903, the golden poppy has been the official flower of California. Another reason it could be called the Golden State is because when the sun sets every day over the Pacific Ocean, the ocean looks golden in color. The Golden Gate Bridge, which is one of California's famous landmarks, is another reason California is called the Golden State. And the color of gold is also the official color, or one of the official colors, of the California state. The California state flag has its origins, actually, in early California history. See, on June 14, 1846, while California was still under rule from Mexico, a group of settlers in Sonoma said that California was an independent republic. They quickly created a California flag that showed a grizzly bear and a five-pointed star above a red bar. It said, California Republic. <laughs> well, I think now you've learned quite a bit about the state of California. But if you think we might have missed something that you think we should know, well, head over to our Instagram page and let us know in a comment. I'll leave a link in the description for our Instagram page below. I really hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe as well. We release two videos every week and hope that you find them fun and educational. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What?